What is up everybody? Welcome back to another vlog. I hope you all had a good day. I just got done with that NAR sesh. It felt so good to pick up my guitar again. Well, at least my electric guitar. I haven't picked that up in, I think like four or five months. Ugh. But it felt good to play for an hour or so. I remember back in 2012 when I would be playing shows every weekend with my friends. It was such a good time. I had so much fun. I wish I could do it again, but it's kind of hard to find time. And it's also really hard to find dedicated musicians, or at least, I mean, I respect anybody who plays a musical instrument, but when you're looking for a drummer or a bassist or a vocalist, everybody just seems to play guitar. Or what my buddy Josh and I would do way back in the day when we were starting out is play at coffee shops acoustically. That was a lot of fun too. And for those of you who are curious, this is my guitar. I actually bought this guitar about four or five years ago, which was my dream guitar in the perfect finish, the sunburst orange. This is my Schecter Solo 6 Custom. The strings I run are Ernie Ball Slinkies. I believe I play on heavy strings as well as heavy picks. I did have plans to build this guitar. I wanted to do um, bare knuckle pickups. The amp I'm currently using is an amp I bought way back in the day as my first amp. It's a Line 6 Spider 4 digital amp. It's all right, it gets the job done. I used to have a half stack, but when I got my own place back in the day, my apartment, I had no room for it, so I sold it to my buddy. And then I had a lot more pedals too, but end up selling some of them. Got my acoustic simulator, noise suppressor, and then my chromatic tuner, which is very essential when you're playing shows. I also didn't have a whole lot planned for this evening, tonight. It's already eight o'clock, starting this very late. But I know tomorrow Warren wanted to check out his caliper on his BBKs, or his big brake kit. It's making some weird noise. Maybe it's just a pad. So I'll probably just pick this up tomorrow, later. Some good stuff. But welcome back everybody. It is the next day. Like I mentioned today, Warren's gonna be coming over here pretty soon and we're gonna go check out his BBKs. Or his big break kit. I guess the squealing is unbearable and he's kind of worried. It's always good to worry. Well, when it comes to your car at least. So, I'm just gonna wait till he gets off work, which should be around three o'clock. It's about 12, 16 right now. We'll diagnose the problem, we'll fix it if we can, and then we'll start a food vlog. So I will keep you guys updated. Well, I'll see you guys when Warren gets here. What's up guys, Warren is here, let's go meet him. Konnichiwa, Toshiwaro. What up, dog? How you doing, man? Good, brother. We got this big brake kit. As you can see, this rotor is pretty clean. Wow. Then come to this side. There's this little scuff, so hopefully it's nothing too serious. Maybe the pad or hardware. We'll check that out. We're gonna let it cool down, but in the meantime, we're not gonna grab. Chipotle, see you there. Fuck. Kidding, we're going to Chinese. Damn, bro, sell me your prelude. This thing's fucking mint. Oh, it's automatic. Yeah. Orange chicken, brown rice. What'd you get? Sesame chicken. Oh my god. Learn Chinese. Pudding. Pudding. No, that's not how you say it. What do you mean? It's, what does that say? It says boo ding. Boo. Boo ding. It, this looks like ding. Learn Chinese, cute. Kawaii. It's not kawaii, dude. I didn't see that. Oh, it's kiai. Kiai. <laughs> this is my fortune says. Delay is the antidote for anger. What was yours say? Courage is not the master of fear, not the absence of fear. Yeah, I already know that. Interesting. Interesting. <laughs> All right, guys. Chinese was Chinese. Chinese was delicious. Time for that food coma. Just kidding. Time to full send those breaks. See you at home. 
What's up guys, I'm back home. Now we're gonna commence this. <laughs> we're not transitioning yet. We're gonna commence this diagnostic of these rotors. <laughs> oh my God. I hope you have the key. Jesus. Jeez. All right, guys, just an update. Got the car in stands, got the wheel off. These big ass calipers are new to me, so it's kind of self learning as we speak. So, this should be fun, but we're gonna get this done. So, um, all right, guys, so the problem with the squealing and bad shit was these pads are just worn the fuck down. So, that's pretty cool. We don't really have to take anything out other than that, so probably just get new pads and we'll call it a day. All right, family, so we got the big ass rotor off. We're gonna take that to O'Reilly's and get that refinished. We got this caliper off. Really thought that big, big calipers are complex, but it was just two bolts holding it, so not bad. Of course, you got that hanging from zip ties, so the brake line doesn't put any strain on itself. So now we're gonna do that to the other side and we'll be good to go. All right guys, we got everything loaded up. We'll see you at O'Reilly's. What's up guys, just a quick update. Got some good news and some bad news. The good news is we got the front and rear brake pads for Warren Z. Unfortunately, we had to go to fucking five locations because none of them around town had them. The bad news is no shop would want to turn Warren's rotors because they're aftermarket performance rotors. They didn't want to take the risk of messing them up. So Warren's gonna leave his Z at my place overnight. He's gonna go to a professional's shop and try to get them turned there. So hopefully all goes well. What's up guys, just made it back home. Now we're going to take off Warren's rear wheels, caliper and rotor, and he's gonna get them refinished tomorrow. All right guys, so we got all the calipers just hanging with zip ties. We made sure that they were very stable on all sides. Especially here, it's all good too. I'm gonna get these rotors refinished. Hopefully they do it tomorrow. If not, we're gonna have to do it ourselves. But that is pretty much that. What's up everybody, it's the next day. Good news, Warren got his rotors refinished. Thank you, Ryan brother, thank you so much for helping us out. No other shop in town would do it for whatever reason, but we got it, dude. We got it. We got it. Just gonna relax real quick, grub real quick, and then we'll start working on everything. So we'll see you outside. Sorry about the windows, guys, but ugh, beautiful, nice and refinished. God bless. Thank you again, Brian. The boys are here. Oh, boys are what's here. up, man? I just got here. What's like up, man? Young D, what's up, man? Yeah, like Let's minutes. fucking do it. Well, one's almost done. Who's man's? Who's man's? Got this motherfucking focus, bitch. What you got in your hair, motherfucker? Oh my God, nature. You be smoking that herb? He be smoking that devil's lettuce. What is this? Shame on you. All right, guys, we got the rears good. Those are good. Now, oh, we need to go to Harbor Freight and get a legitimate C-clamp because these dual pistons are a pain in the ass. So we'll see you at Harbor Freight. Hopefully this works. All right, update for everybody. Um, Just finished. Okay, go ahead, Hank. Oh, <laughs> well, we just got back from um, Harbor Freight and got some Starbies. Cause you know we're parched. Um, we just we're almost oh, done so with installing all the brake pads. We just have to do the driver's side, and then we have to boot the system, the and then we're good. D U N. D U N. You heard it here first. Update. All right, we got the fronts in. Oh goodness, 
Fronts are good, now we're gonna bleed the system. Sex me, Akiba. All right, so when you're bleeding your system, it's good to have at least two people, unless you have, um, whoa, what's up, Ben? <laughs> so we're just using a standard little bleeder kit, bottle, got the hose, got a male adapter, and then your female adapter will be the bleeder valve. So pretty much you wanna have someone manning the brake master cylinder, putting brake fluid in it, as one person is pumping on the brakes. So to signify you get all the air bubbles out, all the brake fluid will be a steady stream. And, and you just want to kill this fucking brake oh my, fluid on the ground. Right geez, now. man. <laughs> so it'll be a steady fire. stream when there's no more air in the oh. in the caliper, the system, and then you'll just tighten the bleeder valve and then you'll move on. So you want to go from the farthest point of the car to the closest to the brake master cylinder. So rear right, then rear left, then front right, then front left. <laughs> of the brakes, not the gas. How those brakes feel, BB? Oh yes, that means that means fucking good. Lower me, bro. Oh fuck! What are you doing? Ben's been feeling really depressed lately, and he just wants to catch us all on fire. Ah! We got brake fluid all over the ground. These neighbors over here having full-on epileptic attacks. You can tell it. Get the ramps. Stop. Alright, there's the oh, twist my ankle. It's got the dragons in my throat, dude. I like The dragons right in the throat. You wanna give the vlog the dragons? Oh my god. We're gonna fog up the viewers. Oh the viewers are fogged. Alright, we'll send. When you're static. Best advice, full send everywhere. Full send, you heard it here first, if ladies a 1%, and gentlemen. 1%, if there's a 1% chance you'll get stuck, you just need a full send. Not remember, this ramps though. Remember that one time I got stuck in your driveway? Oh, I, damn. Remember that? All remember right. Remember when my ramps broke and I got my crossbar stuck on the driveway when I was static? Oh. <laughs> now it's hitting D-Tech. <laughs> oh my, yeah, dude, for real, story time. First time I ever drove up Hank's fucking driveway, the ramp, I shot the ramp out. On accident, and my car got fucking beached right here, and I straight on like basically hit rev limiter doing a burnout to get up into his driveway. Right. That's fucking sick. dope, dude. We'll be right back. Wait, take the vlog. What the fuck? Sorry. If we What's up, guys? Just got back from that test ride. Everything's going good. We're just gonna complete the system again just to get all the excess air out, and then we'll give no test drive. Yeet. All right, family, we got everything bled twice. Double check the work. Everything is as good as it's going to be. Now Warren's going to, um, what do you do, Warren, with your AC? Yeah. He's gonna recharge his AC. Jeez, man, get that out of here. I'm gonna have kid, kid viewers. The big chill. That's what I'm gonna call you. That's gonna be your contact on my phone. The big chill. Can you hold this? Big chill, Junior. And before I end the video, thank you, Brian, so much, man, for your help. Super knowledgeable, brother. Couldn't have done this without your knowledge and your guidance, but thank you so much, man. I really appreciate it. But all right, guys, but thank you so much for sticking around. Thank you for chilling with the boys and I. Thank you, Ben, for your help. Thank you, Chris, for your help. Warren, where you at? Warren. Thank you, Warren. Is that him? Thank you, Warren, for your help. And again, thank you all for sticking around. Thank you all for the love and support. Please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. It helps out a million. Remember, aim high, drive low. We'll see you next video. Adios. Hey.